Welcome back. After you have finished creating your site and you're ready to share it with the world, you're ready to go up here to the publish button. We talked about this in the first video, but we're gonna review here. So your published site is what will appear to the world. If you're not sure what your site looks like, you can always go here to preview it. That's gonna give you an idea of what your site will look like. And so once you feel like it looks good and you're ready to publish, you can go to the publish button here. Now again, for your Grandview Middle School portfolio, your teacher is going to tell you exactly what you should put down for your site location. And for the new Google Sites, you will have this as your URL. It'll be sitesgoogle.com, 277apps, and then your site location. So for this one, it is just going to be my practice site, Wallace. And I can go back and change that later, but I, I'm going to select that as my name. Again, you can either have anyone at 277 apps or anyone at the web. Since this is kind of a practice site, I don't, I'm not ready for anybody to find my website just for people at school. And then once your website is published, you have some publishing op options. You can go here and you can change this. Uh, up here at the top, you can unpublish it. So if you decide that you wanna make some changes to your website, in order to make the changes, you have to unpublish it, or you can view the published site here. So it's kind of like the preview portion there. So I still have some work to do on my site, so I'm gonna go ahead and unpublish it. Now, nobody at 277 Apps can see my site unless I've shared it with them as collaborators, and I'm gonna finish it up before I share it with the world. But that's how you share your website, and hopefully you'll make some awesome websites that you're willing to share with those at school and beyond.